Hi you all. My name is Mary. This reading is for cancer. How are you all today? Hope everybody's doing great, feeling good. Bear with me for just a minute you all. We're going to pick nine of these cards, okay? Takes me just a minute. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but my husband has a new channel, Zen Den Studios. We get out into nature and take videos. It's pretty relaxing. I thought maybe you guys may enjoy it. If you do, it's in the description below. Let's take two of these. There you go. All right, let's see what we got, you all. Six of Wands. Wow, boy, that's nice. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. The High Priestess. Tower. Don't panic, you all. The Lovers. The Fool. Page of Pentacles. And King of Cups. Nice. You're clarifying woman holding a coin and woman holding a heart. Hmm. Looks like somebody's got your back. Give me just a minute, okay? You guys realize what this Six of Wands is in the middle, right? It's about, it's time to celebrate. It's about success. About you guys are accomplishing something and you guys could be getting into a leadership role. You could be getting a promotion of some sort. It's a really good feeling that I have with the Six of Wands. It could be a new job, a new business, a new career change, especially you all. When I have this Eight of Pentacles right above it, which to me makes me feel like this is what you do for a living, right? This is your hard work and your um, your expertise and things like that that you guys are, are working on and dedication that you do for a living, what you, your career or your job or something to that extent. So if you look at it like this, you've got this Eight of Pentacles, this Six of Wands, and this Eight of Wands, which makes me feel like you're ready to take action. Um, there's something coming in for you all, and it's going to be fast acting. It's going to be swift. It's going to be, um, you guys are going to be wanting to take action as soon as possible. And I think you're going to be absolutely tickled about something that's coming in for you. This is all good, good stuff. Now, I do believe, too, with this page of pentacles down here, on one hand, you all, this is the messenger coming in. And when, when this messenger comes in, it's about, you know, she, she or he is giving you offers or opportunities or asking you to take on this new uh, role, possibly. When you look at it like this, you've got this page, you've got the Six of Wands, and you've got the full card, almost like somebody may be asking you to take um, a new journey with them. And sometimes, you all, it's taking a leap of faith, right? 
So I almost feel like that you guys are about ready to get some sort of news, messages. Maybe it's you put in resumes and you're about to get swamped <laughs> with people that may want you. And I just think that it could be something different for you all. It's, do, it's doing something that you guys may enjoy doing, but it's something that's different and, and it kind of makes you a little bit nervous, but yet it gets you excited at the same time. That's how I feel with this Fool card. Give me just a minute. You know, I have this Lovers up here. The Lovers can be a romantic partner, but it doesn't always have to be a romantic partner. It could be someone that loves you very much or that you love. Um, it could be a family member, for instance, a parent, a grandparent, a brother, a sister. Um, maybe it's a child. So I believe that there may be someone in your life that is very um, supportive, very, give, very good at giving you advice, very good at letting you make your own decisions, but they tell you how they feel about it. And whenever I look over here to this woman holding a coin and this woman holding a heart, these could be two totally separate people. However, they could be the same one. You know, let's say maybe one is your mother, one is your grandmother. Let's say you have two sisters, maybe, um, you know, that kind of thing. Maybe these are best friends that have your, interest, your best interest at heart. So whenever I get the lovers, I don't necessarily, it doesn't have to be a romantic partner, even though it can be, but it can be someone that thinks very highly of you and, and, and loves you to death. So I just feel like you guys, maybe with someone else, you have a, a support system that always has your back and that will um, help you in any way they can. On one hand, there's love, there's support. On the other hand, there's financial backing, possibly, that you guys may be getting right now. So either way this goes. Now, honestly, this could be someone offering you a job or a position right now, giving you more money or something to that extent. Um, we don't have a lot of pinnacles here so far, except for the page. But we may be getting more, but honestly, this could be someone that's in your family or someone that is just offering you a, a piece of the pie um, in a new company, in a new job, in a new leadership role. So I'm excited for you. I really am. Give me just a minute. course this is you and your energy you guys already know that right the king of cups water sign cancer scorpio pisces it's definitely you and your energy however it could be um, someone else that's helping you out too you know a few minutes ago when i was saying about someone that always has your back and they listen to you but give you advice at the same time but let you make your own decisions kind of thing i always think of a water sign when i say things like that because that's how that's how they are. They're very kind and sweet and caring and loving, um, but yet they'll they'll help you in any way they can. Um, but I just feel like you guys may be dealing with another water sign as well, which could be someone that you love or that you think very highly of. Let me say something too real quick. We have this tower card, and I don't want to discourage you with this tower card, you all. Here's the reason why. Whenever something happens, back up. Give me a minute. Let me think of how to say this. Sometimes there's something that's actually going to happen in your life that, that puts you in a different um, frame of mind. Sometimes it's just about you guys maybe hearing something or finding something out or learning something new or you wake up one day and you just have an epiphany. And especially when I have this high priestess right here which is, uh, <laughs> she likes to give you epiphanies and she likes to come in your dreams possibly. She likes to give you downloads so you guys will know the right uh, information or the right way to go or the right, you know, things to use, whatever it is, the right name for your company, whatever it is that you guys may get stuck on. She kind of pops up, she's a mystery woman 
and she will give you information and you guys don't probably don't realize it's her but just like in a snap of a fingers you guys have this this information all of a sudden it's like an epiphany it's like all of a sudden you know maybe you wake up in the morning and you're like holy cow that's what I need to do you know I do that all the time you wake up and you, and you just have something in your mind and you just feel like that's what you got to go with so I just want you guys to realize something I have a feeling she may be coming in to give you guys some sort of information or download or epiphany and when she does that it might change the way it might change your path a little bit now I want you to understand something because sometimes we get so set in our in our mind and in our ways and what we're wanting to do and how we're wanting to do it that we forget that if if something changes that we were kind of lost for a minute I don't think you guys are going to be lost okay that's where I'm trying to get at I believe if you guys have this information or this epiphany like I said and all of a sudden you you change your mind about something and decide to start going in a different direction I believe it's going you're going to pick up and just keep on walking it's not going to be like you're going to stop and scream and cry and and throw a fit or anything like that you guys are just going to be able to just keep on and going and I'm tickled to say that because that's not always the case you all so whenever I get this fool card up here the tower and then the king of cups I just feel like that you guys may be kind of leaning in a new direction here in a minute and and there may be a good reason for that okay so I want you guys to realize that and even if you change your mind about something you're, you're just going to keep on a going keep on a skipping <laughs> so I want you to know that too because that's important sometimes with the with this fool card and along with the tower it, it's intimidating so um, you guys are not going to be intimidated. There is going to be something I feel that's coming in that's going to um, I want to say make you a little nervous, but the only reason why I say that is because there may be something that you're not um, You're not as familiar with as you are with other things but yet you're going to be so excited. It's almost like you're a little kid again, getting excited about doing something different. So I'm excited for you, to be quite honest with you. And look, celebrations, victory, success, promotions, leadership roles, new jobs, new businesses, whatever this is, is it's going to look good on you, okay? So I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised with the way this works out. I'm going to take one real quick for this tower card. Page of Cups. Well, you know what that means. The Tower card, you know, the, the Page of Cups is all about your emotions, right? You got the Tower card and then you get the Page of Cups. You're actually going to be thankful is how I'm, I'm reading this. It's actually going to be a thankful situation. You know, sometimes we realize in our mind that we need we need to change something in our life and it might be something small and it might be something big you know some people um, I've heard it before pro probably said it myself go to work every day and you're like I can't stand this job I don't like it I want to I want to get another job you know that kind of thing and the and the next thing you know you, you're still there you know but then maybe when something happens or you change your mind about something, it's almost like you get lifted up and you're like, okay, now I can do something about my job. Now I want to go get this other job. Something's available and I'm going to apply for it and, you know, so forth. Now it may not be your job at all, but you guys understand where I'm getting at. There's something sometimes in your life that you just need to change, but you keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And then the next thing you know, you kind of get like, okay, now's the time. That's how I'm feeling with you all. And it's almost like an appreciative, happy, um, you're going to be thrilled when, when you decide to go in a different direction or when you decide to take this leap of faith right here. You're going to be actually excited about it instead of bummed out about it. 
So I think this is an appreciative and I think you guys are going to be emotionally happy and fulfilled and just satisfied with the way this is going to work out for you. You got this high priestess giving you this information from the universe. You've got this celebrate or success or victory and then you've got some you're changing your mind about something but look how happy you're going to be. Now let me flip this around, okay, because I see this in a different way, too. I've got two different pages. This could possibly be about children or younger people or younger energies. Um, you guys may be uh, dealing with your children or your grandchildren or, you know, people, nieces, nephews, people that you know, people in your family or that feel like family. So you guys may be looking out for their best interest at this time, too. So I just want to throw that in, especially when I get several different pages. It kind of makes me feel like you guys may be dealing with kids or children, um, or maybe your job deals with children, and that may be why you're thinking about getting a different type of job, or maybe you're still going to deal with children, but it's going to be an, a, something different, possibly. So either way it goes, either these are messengers, these are... Um, new job right here possibly finances get going in a better direction maybe but this is a, your emotions and, and a messenger regarding um i think it's your appreciation honestly and you guys being thankful for something that's coming in i'm going to take one more for him <laughs> look at that you all now how cool is that right so you go from the Tower to the Page of Cups to the Ace of Cups. This is beautiful. You know, maybe it does have to do with kids. Maybe it's a birth of a new baby or something like that or somebody finds out they're pregnant or maybe it's you guys getting into a great relationship. Maybe it's you guys loving on your family and your, you know, your parents or someone that is helping you out over here too. But honestly, you all, look how happy you're, you're, you're going to be. You guys, sometimes we get a little stale. We get a little stagnated. We get a little bit uh, in a rut or just kind of, okay, we're just going with the flow. We're just doing what we do, you know, that kind of thing. And every once in a while, something comes in and it... it it gets us excited again. It gets it gives us something to look forward to. It gives us something to take a leap of faith about. And it gives us something that we feel good about. And that's how I'm feeling with you guys today. I'm thinking, you all, you guys could be getting new job offers, uh, new leadership roles. Maybe this is a new career change for some. Maybe this is you guys opening a new business even if it's maybe on the side or something. You could be dealing with someone that you love and that loves you. So for some, this could be a new relationship, but for others, I feel like this is a uh, family member or a best friend or someone that just admires you and, and has total respect for you. When you look at it this way, maybe the two of you guys are going to be working on something that you're going to be taking a risk or taking a leap of faith on, and I think you're going to be absolutely tickled. I do think with this Eight of Wands, you know, it can be swift action. Um, you know, these are like, this is like a stampede, right? And it's like, here we go, let's go, are you ready? <laughs> Jump on, because uh, we're moving. Um, and that's how I'm feeling like with you guys right now. It's movement, it's action, it's excitement, it's progress. Things are going to happen, start happening quickly. If you guys are looking for anything different, now may be the time to start applying for it or um, putting in your resumes, putting in your applications, whatever it is that you guys are wanting to change at this time. Um, to me, I feel like it could be a job. But now on the flip side of that, even you all, this could be you guys wanting to move somewhere different or get a new place to live or um, get a new vehicle or, you know, go to a new school or something like that. Um, so it can go in a lot of different directions. It doesn't always have to be a new job, but with the Eight of Pentacles here and the Fool and the, you know, it kind of does make me feel like some of you guys are looking and I think you're going to be very successful and I think you're going to be tickled with the way this works out for you. You're going to be very thrilled right here with the Ace of Cups. This is about happiness and giddiness and emotions and just being happy in general. So... 
I'm tickled for you. I'm not going to take any more cards, you all. We don't need to. This is a beautiful reading, and I'm going to leave it the way it is. So please remember, if you guys are wanting anything at this time, apply for it now, you all. You may be pleasantly surprised with the way it works out for you. Honestly, it's beautiful. All right, you guys, uh, please keep in mind if this does not resonate right at this moment, it may in the near future. Sometimes it's around the corner. Sometimes it's a little later on. Okay? Take care, you all. I'll see you soon.